In the early 70s, Northern Ireland in the United Kingdom was in the grip of unprecedented terrorist strikes. By 1980, this sectarian violence had reduced the city of Belfast to a dreary ghost town. But today, Belfast is a vibrant new town, and much of the credit for its rejuvenation goes to the courage of one man. Strangely, this man who put Belfast back onto the map is not an Irishman, nor even an Englishman, but a former civil servant from Punjab, Daljeet Singh Rana. In 1963, Daljeet arrived at Heathrow Airport in London, armed only with an economics degree. I came with very high hopes. I thought with my education and experience working in Indian civil service, that I would get a similar white collar job in Britain, but that was not to be. Most of the people who came from Indian subcontinent was only welcomed in foundries, factories, transport, post office, that sort of thing. So it was a very sort of disheartening experience. Realizing that his new country wouldn't allow him to do much else, Daljeet, like many other immigrants, decided business. In 1960. Most of the people were in know about your food. I persevered and eventually came down. Jeet opened the first tree house in Belfast and dared do what was chopped in the uh, prominent three restaurants in, in Belfast. But then the trouble really started in a bit. Be pieces and start again. Since the city had become a ghost town, the government decided to refurbish the opera house and soon people began to come back into the city. I thought there'll be need for restaurants, so I refurbished the building and uh, opened two restaurants and instantly they were very, very successful. So, you know, success breeds success and also I had tested the waters for others. So within two years, there were a whole lot of restaurants opened in Great Victoria Street. Life became a bit more normal. Thanks to the courage that Daljeet had demonstrated in the city, Victoria Street was soon known as the Golden Mile of Belfast. But this was just a beginning. During the 80s, Daljeet became obsessed with the idea of building a new hotel. Some of my friends, that's the local Irish friends, one of them said, Daljeet, you need your head examined. Why the hell do you want to build a hotel in this city where 11 hotels have been destroyed over the last 10 years? But I was uh, sure that, you know, there'll be need for a hotel and started building this hotel in 89. It opened in August 90. And uh, this was the first new hotel in the city for nearly 20 years. Belfast's Golden Mile and the opening up of hotels is a tangible demonstration of Daljeet Rana's creativity and commitment to a city and community of which he is an integral part. Daljeet's contribution has not gone unnoticed, but the great honor came in 1996 in Elizabeth for the title of Member of the British Empire. For me, growing up in India, doing all the jobs, I could have never dreamt that I'll go to the palace to receive this award. Queen was very good. She had uh, interest. She was very kind to me. And she spent a bit more time than others asking me what I was doing and how long I've been living here. So it was great meeting the Queen and talking to that I did. And receive the award and to be part of that ceremony was uh, quite overwhelming. And at that time, you think, uh, I wish my parents were there. Daljeet Rana is just one of the many success stories of the one million strong in, in kingdom. Despite all their achievements abroad, their attempts to maintain some sort of tenuous link with the motherland is touchy. As Daljeet expands his real estate empire, he has a special place in his heart for one particular property. This uh, beautiful building has a special interest for me. I love this building. 
I acquired it eight years ago. And the family which used to own it had great connection with India. They made a lot of money in cotton and linen industries. And uh, the trees that you see in this environment, a lot of the species are from India. As Daljeet walks around these beautiful grounds surrounded by trees, he's reminded of an old uncle in India who used to give him one paisa every time he came to meet him. He said, uh, look, if you plant your paisa, you'll have a money tree. So Punjabi, I say, I say, it's a bee jade, it's a drakhid lag jauga paisa yanda. So I took it to heart. So every time I got a paisa, <laughs> I would uh, scratch uh, the soil between the bricks and put it in the soil. So I've been planting trees all my life. <laughs> The coins young Daljeet planted back in his village in India would seem to be sprouting trees here in the United Kingdom.